Oh, another throwing knife. Okay, there's an enigma piece right here. You're like right on top of it, so it's either right above us or in one of these lockers. I think it might be right above us. Like right here. Hmm. <laughs> ah, here's the map. Found it. Cool. Okay, so now we know there's some hidden loot right here, but there is none in this area. Um, in this current area. It's possible that because we've already played through this game once, um, it's counting the loot that we've already found as being already found. Because I specifically remember there being some Enigma pieces and stuff in this area uh, last time we went through. So that could be the case. Like, there was an Enigma sitting right there. Or it could be because we're doing the alternate timeline. Uh, that means that we no longer have access to this area, like this. And so, so there's no loot in there. But that seems unlikely, because there was definitely an Enigma piece like pinned up to the wall right here. Getting no, it was it was right here. Anybody want any melons? Melons going once, going twice. See if we can nail this one with a throwing knife. <laughs> Dibs. Dibs on all five melons. You're gonna eat five melons, Steen? Jesus. That's a lot of melon. I respect it, though. I respect it. Just teasing, Steen. Mmm, melons. Right? I actually would destroy. I would. I would eat the hell out of a melon right now. That looks so. That looks so good. Oh, that's more sniper rifle ammo. We're gonna go and secondary equip our sniper because it does have a um, silencer on it as well. I think. Actually, maybe it doesn't. Yeah, I don't think it does. I think it alerts the guards. Okay, let's get in. Now the grandma has the shotgun. She's like, I'm prepared. Bring him at me. All right, let's get in. The cool thing, though, is that at some point, we get a laser sniper rifle, which, when we go to the moon, this game is ins If you've never seen or played this game, it is ridiculous. It is way over the top in all of the best ways. It ain't for an old day. I think she just shot the dude right there. Yeah, I think she did. Like, we go to the moon, we do all kinds of crazy shit. Headshot. <laughs> I don't believe we have to take out the guys here. Like, I mean, uh, silently assassinate anyone. Alright, there's no loot here, yeah. So, I think what, it, what the game is doing is it's recognizing that we just found all of the loot in our previous playthrough. Or not just, a week ago found all the loot in our previous playthrough. And so it's only showing us loot that we missed. Um, which would be a lot of loot at the very beginning because we weren't looking for it. And in areas like this, it's not going to be very much, because we were looking for it. Which is good, because that means it'll save us a lot of time trying to loot everything. Okay. I don't think we can get through here. As Wyatt, we would have been able to get through here, because we could have lockpicked, but here we, um... Don't have the lock picking option, obviously. Take some more grenades. At least I think that's how it's work how it works. That's what my intuition's telling me. I love how we could have taken the elevator up here. <laughs> For like no reason there's an elevator. Alright, so here's an here's our objective. 
This is one. We'll go right here. We'll grab this loot, and then we'll go to negative one, I guess. Or maybe we, maybe that elevator went down. Not sure. Oops. Oh, we got an extra grenade. Nice. Oh yeah, okay, so this will go down into the negative one floor. These guys will never learn. <laughs> you said oops like you didn't mean to do that, my dude. <laughs> Well, no, we meant to throw the grenade at them, but when we, uh, by the way, what's up, Inky Dubs? But when we threw it, it hit this thing, and it bounced down towards us like it was going to come back at us. That's why I said oops. We did, it did perfectly kill them. But the original trajectory would have actually killed all, I think, four of them. That only killed three of them. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> So, what does it say? H? Is there a... Yeah, there is an H right there. Okay, I think we need to go... I think we might need to go back. We're going to try this real quick, because I want to grab that loot that we missed. here Let's see we need the we need the h or the g yeah so here's the g so this this should go down all the way or up all the way to the second floor possibly let's try this the h stairs or the g um <clears throat> elevator if we can successfully hotwire it can we do it? I actually don't understand the, like, what skill is required here. Like, I've just been touching the two things until it works. This is such a good game, though. <laughs> there's so much cool stuff. Like, there's a reason I chose to replay this. Oh, yeah, okay, so this will take us all the way to the second floor. Uh, <laughs> mostly the whole moon thing. Going to the moon just made this game amazing for me. For kind of no reason. There's so much more to this one than the one right before it. In Old Blood. Alright, are we on? Yes, we are. Okay, so there should be an item literally right here. Or not. Through this door? Okay, maybe it's on the other side of this door we need to go around. Oh, no, it's just hidden right there. Very cool. What the hell is that? <laughs> I love how these, like, janky pieces of plywood are, are all we have to walk across this. What is that noise? Oh, shit! No, thank you. What was that? Oh, nice. We got more silenced uh, pistol ammunition, which we can always use. Okay, so now, now we can just go down. This is kind of... Ah! Jesus Christ. I hate the ladder system in this game. It's it just like automatic it's supposed to automatically like flick you onto it, but sometimes you just don't grab it for like no reason. Oh, you're supposed to light all three of those dots up in a in a timely enough manner to um to 
to open the door. Okay, so that's that's how the actual system works. So now we just need to go to the very bottom of this area. Yeah, just like this. Could jump, but we're not gonna jump. I mean, we're gonna jump. We're gonna jump down this. And then right here, cool. All right, so co collectibles successfully found. Ooh, my throat's really starting to hurt. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Hey, buddies. Didn't even see those guys there. <laughs> and we have, we've already gotten all the collectibles in this area, so. We do have some throwing knives we can use to silently take down some of these guys and save us some ammo as well. Go to sleep now. Why didn't you see that until now? What do you mean by that, uh, Deacon? Sorry, I just don't really know the context but behind that. Oh wait, you did not see that until now? Those guys, you mean? We didn't see those guys? I was probably just reading chat and didn't see them. All right, so there is a guy we need to take out in here. And it looks like he's right in the back back right corner on the bottom floor. Oh, the three green dots. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Oh, shit. I've just been randomly clicking the things because it's been working so fast. We are a damn sniper with those. Like, if it actually hadn't been working, obviously we would have looked for another way to do it. But we've just been b brushing the... <laughs> brushing the two things together because it's been working just as fast. So yeah, no, hilariously we had didn't even notice that. <laughs> I'm just an intuitive gamer, chat. I'm intuitive. I'm hip and cool. I don't need no, uh... <laughs> Shit. Where is this guy? Oh, there he is. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> you can, you can, like, facepalm. <laughs> this idiot streamer. <laughs> He's not looking at the green dots. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's just been working, so I never even I never even thought to pay attention to actually like what the puzzle was. And the other thing is, I didn't realize that it was a replacement for lock picking, so I didn't realize that it was an actual puzzle, um, because it was so it was so straightforward. So, yeah, <laughs> rage baseball. <laughs> Damn right. Yeah, so since I didn't even think of it as a puzzle, it didn't even, like, come into my mind to, like... Try and not do it that way. Which does say a little... Oh. Which does say a little about, a bit about how, how easy that those things are. <laughs> Maybe they should have made them a bit harder. I don't know. Maybe not. We have 120 health this time as well, which is a little weird. Maybe because the we're playing on Uber, the mode is so hard that we they actually increased your total health. Either that or because we already have a perk that in increases our health. That's also a possibility. One second. All right, sorry about that. Let's keep going. Okay, um, so we should again have found all the collectibles in this area, and this should be 
Pulling this should trigger the transition to the next place. It'll open the gate and allow Granddad and Grandma through. We're gonna go ahead and pull our sniper rifle and our silenced pistol out. So he should give us a mission. World is not safe. Shoot the Nazis, we wait for your return. <laughs> this game is so great. All right, this guy actually might see us here. No, it looks like we're good. So we can loop around, climb up this. Grab all the ammo. We're going to overcharge our health while we're here. Um, I think we're going to... Go ahead and drop that guy when he comes up the stairs. Um, the, the sniper rifle, it sounds like it's silenced, but it's actually not silenced. And so if we, if we try and shoot them with the sniper rifle, which is what I would ideally try and do here, um, it'll actually trigger the, trigger the alarm. So we can't do that. You take this guy out quick before he sees him. There we go. Alright, then we should be able to go from the top in as well, like we did last time. But I actually think we might... No. Yeah, let, let's let's try that. Let's go Let's go up top and drop down again. Because they have actually quite a lot of firepower in here. There should be one more guard patrolling. Yeah, we can't actually even get in there, so I think we have to go from the top in. We've already found all of the collectibles from this area. There was actually one sitting over right here, I think. Chat, be quiet. Everybody, shh. Got him. Nice. All right, grab us some more grenades as well. Those will be useful in, in um, the giant... Me mechanical dudes we're about to have to fight. And then there should be one more dude right across the way over here. I think he's sitting... Yeah, there he is. Got him. Oh. And there's a dog. Alright. And so, um, there's, there's, a little, there's a little thing of loot we're going to go ahead and grab while we're over here. It's underneath this. And while there is no collectible left in there anymore... Um, there, there is good loot, I believe. Kind of, more weapon ammunition, that sort of thing. Poor evil puppy. I know, right? I kind of feel bad killing the dog sometimes. This one actually took me quite a while to find. Oops. Drop that there. Even though they'd murder you in about two seconds. Yeah, I know, I know they'd murder me, but I still feel kind of bad. What does this do again? Oh, it just opens that door. Okay. Oh, there's a throwing knife we can pick up here. And that's one we accidentally threw earlier. Um, coming in here, not only does it overcharge our health, and it fills us up on all the ammo we're missing, but it also um, helps um, get back some of the armor. That we lost battling those guys a second ago. Oh, his head's gone. Dang. I, was, I wanted to use his helmet. Okay. Should be it. I'm gonna go ahead and sit this here to recharge it. And then we're gonna go trigger the robot scene. Which, um... Should be pretty hard on this, this difficulty mode. Maybe not, though. And we're about to get almost stepped on. It's only a pig dog, right? I know, right? <laughs> it's only a Nazi dog. Yeah, but just because it's a Nazi dog doesn't mean that it's... I mean, dogs don't really...
Dogs are dogs. Just because it's a Nazi dog doesn't mean it's... Oh, shit, 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 shit. That one's just kind of chilling out there. That hurt. One down. <laughs> a dog in 100% metal. Yeah, that actually makes me feel even worse. They're like torturing the dogs. Ah, uh, run! All right, nice. Got it. Wait, there's a dog inside? Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they, um, they take the dogs and they like sew the metal into their flesh to make them those weird creations. No, it's it's pretty awful. Yeah, when you, actually later on in the game, when you're in the prison, um, they you can you actually grab some lore um, that like it reads there's this letter and the dog has killed its owner, and you read through the letter and it says basically like it's a letter from the vet to the dog the owner of the dog and the vet's like um, I know you're Lucy or whatever the dog's name is has been acting strange recently especially after the surgery that it went that it underwent um, but it should calm down um, if you need more sedatives to. Blah, 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 whatever. And basically the vet's saying that they did the surgery and it made the dog super aggressive. Uh, causing it to, like, actually this one I think is full full mechanical. Some of them you can tell aren't fully mechanical. But I, I think this one might be. I'll show you. If I can find what I did not know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. It actually may have been in the last game. But I don't think so. Oh, when we get to the prison, I'll try and uh, I'll try and find the I'll try and find the letter again. I believe that's what it is. I don't think I'm making that up. Now you guys are making me feel like I'm making that up, but I don't think so. I know, isn't that sad though if that actually is how it's, it's going? <laughs> so now this kind of shows another another spot where he's obviously still has brain damage. He just flash forward into here. He doesn't remember anything in between where he was and now. Um, he has a very spotty memory. This is also funny because he accidentally picks this coffee cup up. Like, he, he, as you saw, he accidentally overfilled the ones we put the other cup in there. But when he brings it back, Anya thinks he's being all sweet, bringing in an extra cup of coffee for her. 